All right, guys, on Phase Gaming, back again with another GTA Online outfit glitch video. Now, in this video, we are going to be making the outfit that I have shown in the thumbnail. Now, this is a double transfer outfit and also requires quite a bit of merging. So I'm only going to be doing the one outfit in this video. So if you do want to make the outfit that I've shown in the thumbnail, then stick around them. This video is for you. Now, you might not have noticed, but that is actually CEO armor that we've got merged underneath the strike vest. So we've put both types of armor on this outfit, which is half the reason why it's such a complicated one to do. Anyway, guys, we're going to get straight into it. So, first of all, we're going to be transferring from our male character to our female character. So, what you need to do is you're going to need to create some outfits on your male character. So, you're going to make your way over to the clothing store. And as you'll see, what we've got here, I've numbered them one and two, just to make it a little bit easy for you to understand. But in the first slot, all we've got is a bog standard Gorka suit. Now, the only thing we're taking from this Gorka suit is the joggers. So we're not interested in any anything else from this outfit. We just want the joggers. So that's why we're saving this outfit. Because this, when it goes over onto the female character, is an orange adversary scuba suit, which you cannot actually get. So that's why we need to transfer it from the male to the female first. So that's what sort of what makes this a double transfer. Anyway, in the next slot, I've just called it top because we're just going to be putting a top onto these Gorka joggers. So as you can see, I've got the, uh, the red stitched baseball top there. Now these shorts I'm wearing, these tropical shorts, they are merge shorts. And these shoes, they are merge shoes. So all I'm going to be doing is merging the joggers from the Gorka suit across onto this outfit, as well as the boots. But I'll get into it further when we get onto the female character as it gets a little bit more confusing. But to make this outfit, these are the only two slots you need to set up on your male character. So once you've got these two set up, we're going to do the transfer glitch, which is linked below in the description. This is the one from character one to character two. So we're going to go ahead and do the transfer glitch. And once you get back onto your female, you'll notice that these outfits have transferred over. As you can see, slot one there where it says Gorka. Just ignore this bodysuit. I just saved that to test something out earlier. But slot one where we've got Gorka, that's going to be our full Gorka suit which obviously on the female character shows up as the orange scuba suit. And in slot two, we transferred the top outfit over, but because we put merge components on it, it will not show up on the female character. So there's no need to worry about it if it doesn't show up. That's proper that's how it should be because it needs merging together. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go into Crooked Cop and we're going to merge slot one into slot two. Now, I go over the crooked cut part in pretty much every video that I make. So if you're wondering how to merge and stuff like that, I will link some videos in the description that's all about merging. Go and check them out if you're not sure about merging. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my outfits and I'm going to go across to where we've got slot one, where we had the Gork suit saved. So as you can see, slot one is there. I'm going to flick once to the right to go to slot two. And that's going to merge the orange scuba suit pants onto this jacket. Now, if you're wondering, this jacket is the one that turns into that dark grey with red stitching baseball top. Or when it goes back to the male character. Don't worry about the invisible torso. That will disappear as soon as you come out of Crooked Cop. So, once you've got this outfit sorted in Crooked Cop, you'll spawn back in free mode with it. And as always, we're just going to make our way to the nearest gun store or clothing store to save it. But before we actually save this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that helmet off and then I'm going to go to inventory, I'm going to go to body armor and I'm just going to put on the heavy armor. Now this is the merge armor. Uh, originally when I tried this, I tried it with a few different components and the merge armor wasn't working. But I did actually save two different types of armor just to double check that it would definitely transfer. But once you've got the armor on, we're just going to resave over slot two. Now, this is the part where it gets a little bit tricky. This outfit is going to turn into exactly as we want it. So we've got the Gorka joggers, we've got the grey baseball top, and we've got the merge armour. So we'll be able to drag the CEO armour across onto the grey baseball shirt. 
But what we want to do is we want to add a strike vest after it. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the slot below empty. That's where we're going to save our CEO outfit once we get back onto the male character. And in slot one, what we're going to do is we're going to go and create another outfit where we can merge on some deadline shoes and the strike vest. So if you make your way over to a clothing store, I'm just going to show you the outfits that I've got set up here. So now in slot one, I've got an outfit called Vest. Now what this is, is the sea green puffer jacket is a merged jacket. So that's going to merge the shirt across onto this outfit. On this outfit now, we've got the Gorka joggers. Obviously the scuba suit pants are going to turn into the Gorka joggers. This red puffer jacket is going to become our grey baseball shirt with the red stitching. We've got the armour on there, which is going to merge the armour across from a CEO outfit, which we haven't saved yet. And there's just a normal black bikini top underneath this. It really doesn't matter. So in the first slot, like I said, we've got the sea green puffer. This is a merged jacket. And then underneath that, we've got the blue digital t-shirt, which is going to turn into one of the strike vests. This is going to be the grey strike vest with the red accents on the sleeves. Now, the merge pants and the shoes that are shown there, the shoes are the deadline shoes, and obviously the merge pants are the ones that we always use. So what we're going to do at this point now is we are going to transfer back over to the mail. Now this is using the second glitch, which I'll link in the description. This is the glitch which will go from character 2 to character 1. Now currently, the only transfer we've got from character 2 to character 1 is the one where you delete your second character. So if you're not interested in deleting your second character, you will not be able to transfer from character 2 to character 1. As always, I'm going to save my current outfit so that I don't lose it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to grab the CEO armor. So I'm going to do the glitch. That will also be linked in the description, how to get CEO outfits. I know a lot of people struggle with this one, but for some reason I seem to be able to hit it every single time. So, I mean, I don't know why you guys can't do it. It might just be a PS4 thing. I'm not sure, but I seem to be able to hit this glitch every single time. Anyway, guys, once you've got the CEO outfit on, we're going to come back to free mode after, and we're going to save it. Now, remember, we are going to save this in the outfit slot just after the one that we created on our female character. So I'm just going to save it in here, and I'm going to call it number three so that this is a bit easier for you guys to understand. I'm just going to do, well, I'm just going to call it CEO. So that way we know we've got the CEO vest saved in slot three, just under the slot two that we created earlier. What we're going to do now is we're going to head into Crooked Cop, and we're going to merge all of this together. So, as again, I'll tell you, the Crooked Cop stuff has been covered a million times in a million videos before. So, if you're not sure about merging, go and check out my other videos. But once you're on the outfit selection screen, you're going to make your way across to the CEO outfit. We're going to hit once to the left to merge the CEO vest onto our grey and red top. And then we're going to hit once to the left again, which is going to add the strike vest. And it's also going to add the red deadline shoes. Now, you won't be able to see the deadline shoes on this outfit selection screen, but they are definitely there. Now, I know he's got no arms at the moment. Don't worry about it. As soon as you get back into free mode, they will come back. And we're just going to do the same thing as always. As soon as we're back in free mode session, we're just going to go to the nearest gun shop or clothing shop. And we're just going to save the outfit. Now, I think you'll agree this looks pretty damn cool as it is. But what I'm going to show you now is I'm just going to do a bit of an extra part of the video where I'm going to add a hat, mask, glasses, and some gloves as well. So I'm just going to save it in this slot. I'm just going to call it red or black. And once I've saved it, I'm just going to make my way to the clothing store. I'm going to go to the hat section. I'm going to go to combat helmets. And I'm going to pick up the red and black quad lens combat helmet. It is obviously the most expensive one. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to pick up this combat helmet and next I'm going to go and put on some sports glasses. I'm going to go over to the glasses section, go to sports glasses. I'm going to get the grayscale urban ski. Now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to save this because to be able to add a mask to it as well, we are going to have to save it. But first of all, I'm just going to run over and get some gloves. Now, unfortunately, because we're using the CEO vest from the CEO outfit, we can't get biker gloves or race gloves with this so that is a one little thing that's really annoyed me about this outfit but unfortunately that's just the way it goes with the ceo armor but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put on some plain black gloves 
And like I say, I'm going to save the outfit there. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make my way over to my apartment and we're going to do the telescope glitch. So for those of you that aren't familiar with the telescope glitch, it's what we use to be able to put hats, masks and glasses all on the same outfit. Now, what you need to do is you need to select the thing that's not already on your outfit. So because we've already got the glasses and the helmet saved, we just need to select a mask. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put on this skull one. All you need to do then is you're just going to run over towards your telescope and you're just going to hold right on your D-pad so that he stops in front of the telescope but doesn't actually look through it. You're going to go down to style and just select the outfit that you're wearing. So you're just going to select the red and black outfit. Now what that'll do is it'll put it with the glasses and the hat on like we had before. But as soon as you start walking away, the mask will glitch underneath it all like that. So at this point now, all we need to do is just go ahead and save it. So that is pretty much it, guys. This is one special outfit. Like I say, it's a lot of effort, double transfer, and obviously there's quite a lot of merging involved. But if you want that special outfit, then this is the way to go. Uh, I'm sorry I could only do one outfit in this video, but because it's so complex, I thought I'd best just do one outfit on its own. And I will be doing more of these videos where I just cover one outfit at a time because the outfits I am doing are quite complex. And if you're not clued up on merging and you're not clued up on the transfer glitches themselves, I would recommend going looking at my earlier videos and trying some more simple outfits where it's just a simple transfer or maybe just one set of merging. Rather than these double transfer, triple merge outfits, they are very, very confusing if you are new to this. So definitely go and check out my other videos if you wanted to make some more simple outfits. But for this outfit, that is done, guys. That is it from this video. If you've enjoyed it, remember to stick a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. I'll be doing a lot more of these outfit videos. Go follow me on Twitter as well because I always post all my outfits over there. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.